Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Motivation, a devotional to uplift and encourage you for the week ahead. Thanks for joining me today. Last week I spoke about being a living sacrifice and I look at what that means. Today I continue with verse 2 of Romans chapter 12. You can say that presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice is the what of our divine worship. And now in verse 2, Paul is going to address the why. He states, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We willingly offer up our lives to God, daily dying to self, but saying yes to the Spirit, so that we may be continually transformed from the inside out. I want us to understand how critical this is to truly live as the salt and light of Christ in the world. There's a constant pressure on us as believers to fit in, to be the same in our thinking, in our speaking, and even in our actions. This pressure is sometimes obvious and at times quite subtle. Our minds are bombarded every day through the various forms of media, through the sounds we hear, the conversations around us, even the people we interact with, like our close friends, acquaintances, colleagues, and even strangers. We are constantly being bombarded with all sorts of information, and in a rapidly advancing technological age, it comes at us from every direction at the speed of light. It is only natural that such an overload of stimuli will seep into us and that would be and it would cause us to be tempted to pattern our thoughts and actions after the culture, ideologies and actions of the world. This is why these words in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 are so vitally important. The caution not to be conformed to nor to fit in and be like this world is a constant warning that we should all pay daily attention to, regardless of how long we may have been saved. The only way to resist and fight against the subtle lure of this world, the assault and constant battle for our minds, is by letting the Holy Spirit do His transformative work in us. It is by His power and not ours that we're able to stand and not be like worthless salt, fit only to be thrown out. We can't do it on our own, no matter how much positive thinking and self-talk we engage in. Counseling, though useful, cannot by itself fully transform our minds. It is only God and God alone who can truly make a person new. For by the power of the Holy Spirit, we are changed, not just instantly when we are saved, but He continues this metamorphosis in us in such a way as we give, as we give the Holy Spirit full access to all of us. In the original Greek, this is actually what the word transformed means here. From the Greek word, we derive our English word metamorphosis. And if you remember your biology lessons, you know that metamorphosis at its basic meaning is linked to stages of, of what the caterpillar goes through as it changes from a pupa into a beautiful butterfly that can be spectacular. This transfigur transfiguration, as it were, though it occurs instantly at our new birth, is not a one-time change as in that's it, I'm saved, and that's all that matters. This is why Paul uses the term renewing of the mind. Renewing is a verb, an action word that is in the present continuous tense, which means it is happening now, and it will continue to take place as we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. This mind change is like a, pro a progressive renovation, a complete change for the better that can only be properly brought about by the Holy Spirit. 
in Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 10, God states that he alone is the one who searches not just the heart, but also the mind. Who better therefore can change the way we think and by doing so change our whole way of living as well. You see, we must not just refuse to follow the selfish and corrupt patterns of this world or just avoid its customs. It must go much deeper than our behavior. It must go into the very root of our values and our motives. This is also why in the whole process of continual transformation, we need to be in the Word of God, for it is the Word that is sharper than, it, than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joints and marrow, exposing our innermost thoughts and desires. As we are continually being transformed and shaped by the Holy Spirit and by the Word of God, we are then able to know God's will for our lives and His plans and purposes are always good. They are always pleasing and always perfect. God has not made it difficult or impossible to know how to please Him or to know His will for our lives. He has given us everything we need to live a godly life. So if we are failing at it, it is not because of God, it's not His fault. Since through the ultimate sacrifice of His Son Jesus, He has provided everything we need. In addition to that, He has sent His Spirit to be our helper. He's asking us now, in turn, that we give ourselves to Him as living sacrifices. And as we do this, He will transform us by changing the way we think and by showing us what His will for us looks like on a daily step-by-step -step basis. By God's standards, this is what a truly successful life looks like. So I encourage you, don't conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you will know what God's will is, that it is good, that it is perfect, and it is acceptable. God bless you. This has been Monday Morning Motivation. Join me again next Monday at 6 o'clock in the morning for another devotional. Have a wonderful week.